Hey, what is up guys? Brandon here with Cloud Vision Productions for another 3DS Max tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to create a ground terrain uh, inside 3DS Max using the simple plane, using a simple plane and um, using built-in plugins inside 3DS Max. So um, also on that note, I want to go ahead and point out that I have reached a thousand subscribers i'm very excited about it so i want to th say thank you to everyone that has supported this channel and uh if this is your first time coming across this channel why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button where i frequently do visual effects animation stock footage and a few other things here and there so um all right let's go ahead and begin so i'm gonna go ahead and select my top view and i'm gonna drag my plane Not too hard, not too difficult. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna give it like this tan color. I'm gonna scale my plane. Uh, this, is, this is a pretty fun way of creating ground trains. You don't need um, I don't know if most people realize, but you really don't need uh, other plugins to create a ground terrain. Um, just by simple modifying with uh, map textures that are built inside 3ds Max and a few modifiers, we can get you rolling out to a cool terrain. So, as soon as I get done creating my plane, I'm going to go to the uh, modify tab and I'm going to change my length and width segments. I'm going to go to 200. That could be just a little bit too much for the size of my plane. So I'm going to drop it down to 100. That's pretty good. That's a pretty decent amount of planes, uh, segments. Okay, so under the modifier list, I'm going to select displace under D as in displace. Okay, so I'm going to select luminance center. I'm going to go under image and I'm going to select map. Under map, I'm going to select, I'm going to be under the standard section and I'm going to select smoke. Once I get done doing that, I'm going to hit M for material editor. I'm going to go to the modifier tab. I'm going to hold and right click, left click, excuse me. I'm gonna drag this all the way over here. We're gonna select instance and we're gonna hit okay. Sweet, okay. So let's see what happens when we go ahead and change the strength. Okay, notice how we're already getting something pretty cool. Look at that. We're getting this very rocky looking terrain here. I'm going to pull this up here. Notice how it's already looking really, really, really rough. Like a, This looks like Mordor. Like I feel like I could see Frodo and Sam right now walking over to Mordor or something. So if we bump up the strength, look even how much more rockier it looks. You got, you got Helm's Deep somewhere around here somewhere. You got... You can make this to whatever you like. So this is pretty cool. I, I think that already looks sweet in my opinion. Um, I do this quite often. I do this quite often when I'm creating um, some type of terrain. Every now and then I'll use a plugin if I'm trying to create something a little bit more realistic, but this isn't bad at all. Okay, so let's say that we need more flat areas. Say that you don't want, you want more of a valley. Uh, this looks like somewhere you're, you're just, you're like Frodo and Sam. You're the ring bearer right now. We don't want to be the ring bearer. We want to be something else. I don't know what. Okay, so I'm gonna change. I'm gonna keep material editor open, and under the smoke parameters, I'm going to change the size. So when I scale up, you're gonna notice a lot of things change. Oh wow! Yeah, we're already noticing so much changing. Look at how everything's kind of flattening out. So notice as well on your map editor right here, it's enlarging the texture. So let's keep going. 
Let's see what happens. Notice how it smooths out? There we go. So now we have a much more smoother look right here. Now we have something like the, I don't know why I'm using so many reference to Lord of the Rings, but this looks like the Plains of Rohan. I don't, I don't know where this is coming from. I, I really don't. It's kind of late. So um, let's bump up the strength and see what happens. Look how cool that looks. Now, like, now it's just getting much steeper. Now this literally looks like Helm's Deep, you know, when um, you see Gandalf riding down. And, um, you know, I, I have no idea why. I don't know why. I, I'm just trying to find cool things to talk about. But notice here on your texture, look at look at how you can see the uh, solid, you know, grayish white looking area, and you see your black, and then you see your white. So that's uh, pretty much representing the depth of what we have right here. So this area right here is obviously going to be the valley where Aragon's going to be at, and Gandalf is going to be right here riding down to save them. Okay. So, anyways. Um, we can go ahead and change. We can we can shift this area by using the phase section right here. And if we move this, whoa, that's not supposed to happen. Oops. Um, let's see. Offset. Okay, just ignore what I was doing. I think I'm using the wrong map channel, actually, um, for what I was trying to uh, present. Um, but yeah, so you can use this map texture to create something like that. So the higher you go, the more flatten it's gonna go. Okay. So let's say we need to go back to Mordor. We're gonna just change this back to like a, see what happens if we change it to a 50. Yeah, look at that. That just looks chaotic. That looks like just like chaos. So we can experiment with other things here. Um, let's go ahead and change it to a noise a lot of times i do use the noise modifier okay look how it looks different i'm gonna go ahead and drag this map i'm gonna change it. i'm gonna put it to the instance i'm gonna put it as an instance in the second excuse me in the second slot okay so we need to adjust this to get the darker areas solid dark right right I'm going to change it to a turbulence. Okay. I'm going to size it up. Notice how it's already changing. And then you're going to see that change right there as well. So now if we change the high section, that's going to change a lot of things. Notice how that happens. Okay. So when I affect the low, notice how a lot of the areas have just gotten completely flat. This is a great way to create flat, solid valleys, um, if that makes any sense, like complete straight ground planes, um, just for a uh, great spectacle view. So if we wanna add more mountains, so to speak, we're gonna change the size of it and bring it Bring that down, and then we're gonna mess with the high. We're gonna mess with the low as well. Okay. So as I pull down the low, as I bring that more, look at the material at right here. So same thing again. The black represents the flat areas, and then your lighter gray colors represent the higher terrain. So you can create some very, very cool, unique custom terrains off of this. Now what I was trying to do on the last uh, first uh, material, I was trying to phase it where you can uh, uh, change the texture of it, so to speak. So under phase, I'm going to change it and notice how you got it running through different type of things right here. So you can completely create so many different type of model, unique. Wow, this one looks really cool. You can create so many different um, terrain models just built inside 3ds Max. 
it literally takes i mean tops without me talking about gandalf and aragon and lord of the rings and frodo and sam literally it'll take you like two minutes so um yeah this is how to create uh a ground terrain uh this is pretty much for beginners so um you can add a cool V-ray sun and a V-ray sky and you'll have a spectacle, a very pretty looking uh, scene. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, uh, check out the video after this one um, where I teach you how to use the V-ray sun and sky uh, for beginners. So uh, anyways, uh, if this is your first time coming across my channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button where I frequently do animations, visual effects, and I release stock footage for free. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys learned a lot. Um, but yeah, this is how to create ground terrain with uh, built-in built, built -in plugins with 3ds Max. So my name is Brandon with Cloud Vision Productions, and I'll catch you guys later. I hope Frodo and Sam make it through more. All right, later, guys.